Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, as you can see, I'm in my garage and I'll be making a quick update about the Evo. In the past month and a half that I owned it, watch it a little bit over a month, I've done a couple of things to it. Like the car got a tune, got some gauges, tile below valve, uh, clutch, and fixed some of the paint. All right, so let's start up here since I'm already up here and the hood is open. As you can see, I have a tile blow valve on, which I took off my Turbo Miata, which is the one all the way to the end over there. But um, the car's sitting, and the um, the stock blow valve, I heard that they only hold like around 22 pounds. And yes, the car is tuned. The car makes 26 pounds right now. And um, they, they used to boost drop, so from 26 to 22 pounds. So that's why I went and put this one on just so I wouldn't have to worry. Plus, I like the sound of the blow of the tiles. And over here, I have a new intake. The old one, it's somewhere. Oh, yes, I have a mess here. I literally cleaned this garage last week, but I started working on my Evo, and I finished my, my brother's Turbo Miata. So we made a mess because we were cutting a welding pipe. But um, I had this intake on it with the stock blow valve, but this engine intake is like super heavy. And it wasn't really gonna work with the new piping that I have on right now, because it worked fine with the stock piping, but, oh, well, I mean, it's almost like the same as stock, but except this metal part. Uh, but anyways, I couldn't fit that uh, intake. I have the STM intake filter on it. So um, I put that, this other piping I had laying around from one of my buddies gave it to me actually, like a year ago when I had my DSM. But, um, so I got the piping, tile blow valve, I got thousands of injectors on. I have a 255 Wabro, and I just bought this clear cover because I wanted to see the uh, the timing belt. So I just bought this for like 20 bucks on eBay, and it's uh, surprisingly decent. So the car, it's already tuned by R&D Performance. Shout out to him. Uh, shout out to John, he's the one who's in the car. So the car's been driving pretty good so far. Um, it's tuned on a dual map. It has a, well, 93 and E85. The E85 map is not finished because we didn't have E85 at the moment. I had a full tank of 93, uh, but it feels pretty good on 93. It feels way better than stock. And um, cause I was having an issue with the car and I thought the tune was messed up. I thought my injectors were bad uh, because it didn't want to idle. And then it was running super lean and ended up being that my fuel pressure regulator was hooked up to this uh, vacuum, which is actually not, not a vacuum. Um, it's just a port so you can run a vacuum to it. Uh, I guess the last owner ran it through there I don't know why or how because the car wouldn't run like it, it was running like crap. It would barely move So I changed that and then well John figured that out because I, I, I wasn't even thinking about the vacuum You know, I saw it hooked up and I was like, well, it, should, it looks fine and then the uh, The IAC valve I believe it's bad so we got that figure out, and then I think the uh, evap solenoid was bad, was stuck open, and it was make it was just dumping uh, vacuum out, and that's why the car used to sound like it had cams, and it was like idling super bad. You wanted to shut off all the time. But as you can see, if you watch the last video, uh, you can see that well, if you remember, the whole quarter panel was all rust, and the other side was all rusty. I bought some paint match paint, and. As you can see, the quarter is painted. So as you can see, the car still has a dent, but the rust is gone. I went and sanded the whole rust and the whole part that is painted right now. Everything that's painted right now, it was sanded down to bare metal. I got all the rust out. I didn't have like 1500 bucks to spend on the car right now just to get the quarter panel fixed, uh, which I'm thinking about. Uh, I saw one for sale for like 250 bucks, a whole quarter panel. Uh, so I might just buy that and have the shop cut this one and put the other one on. But that will be for summer, not now, I'm not in a hurry. But as you can see, it has a little marks where I did the paint, the, the taping. Um, I just have to go out, tape some tape, like an inch on both sides and sand this down. And then uh, wet, I've been wet sanded and then buff it. So just to blend it in. But the paint is pretty good for being spray paint. It's pretty much, you know, it's not that far off. But um, so I went and did that on all the spots that I saw that I had a little bit rust. I had some like right here. The door was fucked up. Even though I bought all four new doors, I have four silver doors upstairs that I have to put on in summer, but I just have to put the rear ones on and the trunk, I did bought a trunk too. So I have to put the rear doors on and then 
get the trunk painted. I have a black trunk that I bought for like 50 bucks. And then of course you get this wing fixed because it looks like AIDS. But um, I got this spot right here fixed. I, I gotta buy tail lights. I haven't done that yet. And um, but yeah, I mean, it looks way better than what it did before. If you guys wanna go watch the last video so you can see how bad it looked uh, compared to now. And also I put an eBay front lip. It looks way better than what it used to look like. It looks way better than what it used to look before. Uh, just so the salt in this winter doesn't eat through the paint. As to the interior of the car, I did had a, I bought a brand new AMS shift knob. I literally used it for like 15 minutes. I drove to work and while shifting, it, it literally, used, the threads came off from the inside, the carbon fiber one. So I went and returned that because it literally lasted like 10 minutes. Then I got my buddy, Brian, he sold me this um, carbon fiber gauge pod. So I got my air to fuel, my boost gauge, which the boost gauge already came with it, uh, came with the car. It was used to be down here. But, um, and then I just put this radio on because the stock radio wasn't, the antenna wasn't working. So I got to put the radio on. But uh, other than that, the car looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, I haven't really had any problems with it, except like I said, fifth gear does like to grind sometimes. But other than that, the car has been pretty good. I went ahead and bought some winter tires just because I had summer tires on it. And I drove it to work the first snowfall. It was literally like an inch of snow on the floor. And the car was everywhere on the road. I couldn't stop. I couldn't go. All four wheels were spinning like, uh, like crazy. So I went ahead and bought these um, snow tires for like 280, 280 bucks used, but almost brand new threads. And um, the car is super good on the snow. I drove on the snow last time and I tried making a slide and there's, the tires are super grippy. So that's all good. Yeah, but other than that, I haven't really done nothing to the car. I'm just gonna try and enjoy this winter. I'm actually moving out to Chicago next week. I'm going to uh, college downtown. So the car might stay here because I'm gonna be taking the train back and forth. I'm gonna be staying at my brother's girlfriend's parents' house. So um, I'll be taking the train so I don't have to drive through the traffic. And for all the new people, this is my brother's DSM. It's fully built. It's been built for a couple years already. Uh, right now it has a 58, 58 on it. He used to have a 62, 62, but it blew up. Uh, he oil started it going like 170, I believe. But he has a JMF intake manifold with an S90. And he has a fully built bottom end, a fully built head that he just got built uh, a couple months ago. It has 272 cams. And um, I think that's it. And then these are all the cars that we have in the garage. I'm still in this little spot. I'm gonna put my girlfriend's Miata. As you can, we have three Miatas in the fucking house. Um, my brother and I just finished this ghetto built Miata. He's trying to do like a super cheap build, uh, build for drifting, because I have a 240 in the back of the house, uh, which is my drift car. And um, so we had, we went ahead and put this uh, 14B turbo out of a 1G, I think it was, or a 2G. I forgot what, turbo, what car it came out of. But um, we did like a ghetto welded hook dump and running on a FMU over there and then this is my miata that has been turbo for the past two years i blew the engine last year and i went ahead and put a new engine on it um but car makes around 220. i ran 12.6 on the quarter mile which is not bad for a little miata and not even fully tuned once summer comes around i have a lot of plans this one needs to get a full tune and it needs a near rear diff because when i went to a drag strip my brother did a, the last pass and he blew their differential. So I have to go put a new diff on it um, and then get the cartoon. Hopefully I wanna make it around 230, 240. Um, but that for summer, the Evo, I really wanna put a bigger intake manifold that my buddy Brian is gonna sell me. And then I'm probably gonna buy an FP red or FP black turbo. I wanted to keep the Evo stock, but I don't know, I cannot just keep it stock. <laughs> and then my, um, my 240 that's outside, need some seats and that's it so once summer comes around i'm gonna be doing that on all three of my cars and then hopefully my brother's car it's all good it just needs bigger fuel lines because it's uh it, the fuel lines are stock and he doesn't have enough fuel so he bought a dual fuel pump setup and stainless steel fuel lines that he has to go put on and this car should be making around 500 once summer comes around um well, once he goes with bigger turbo, he's gonna make more power, but he's gonna keep it, keep the 50 50 until it blows. But um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys wanna watch more of my brother's DSM, my Evo, 
if you guys are here for drifting, I'll be drifting my 240 with my brothers, and then my brother's gonna be drifting this thing, and then a Miata is gonna be my track fun fuck around the streets car. So make sure to click that subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.